I want to thank Best Buy for sponsoring this video. What's up everyone? Happy 4th of July. I wanted to show you guys some deals on Best Buy for the 4th of July holiday weekend. So we're going to get right into it here. And the first thing that I want to show you is some of these really little TVs on that, you know, Best Buy homepage, go into top deals. The first thing that come up are a lot of these fire TVs as low as 64 bucks. And depending on the size and, you know, what you're going to be using it for, you really don't have to overthink a lot of this. A lot of these TVs are very similar. They have very similar operating systems. You know, that one that is $64 or $79 here, they're going to be just high definition TVs, you know, 1080p. But if you want 4K, you can start looking at some of these other ones. And it's really not going to matter if you get like the Insignia or the Toshiba, you know, or any of these other ones. If you're looking for like a 43 or a 50 inch TV, these are really great prices at $169, $199 for a little bit larger of a TV. Really, it's like if this is going to go in your spare bedroom or kid's bedroom or something, just get an operating system that you're going to be used to. If you're good with that Amazon Fire TV, that's fantastic. It has a ton of apps, and I think all those will be just fine. Now, if you want to get a little bit further into it, you go into the TV section here. Now, you can get down here, and you can see the different sizes and different brands. And again, if you're not down for one of those Fire TVs, you have some other options in the 43-inch or smaller. You know, you'll have like a Samsung. So if you're just always a Samsung person, again, in this size, you're good just picking out one of these 40-inch uh, or 43-inch Samsungs. Again, all of these will be very basic. They'll be LED TVs. You'll get, you know, minimum gaming features, but you'll have something to display your, your cable, your news, movies, all that. That'll be just fine. So there's a bunch of them here, and I want to kind of pick out one from each size that I've looked at before. So for 43, it's a little bit difficult from this screen right here because some of these are HD and some of these are 4K. So what I would do is click on this shop all right here, and then once you do that, I would go in here and I would click 4K because if I'm going to buy a TV at this point, I just want it to be 4K just so it can do a little bit more. Maybe you can get away with buying the HD, but that's my choice here. So 43 or under, and then we're talking 4K, and then you have a bunch of TVs. And one of the ones that I did like here was the UQ 75 series TV. We had this in the house. It was a much bigger version, but for 289 at this 43 inch version, you're going to get a screen that's great for cable news, even some movies, gaming, all that stuff. So I know a lot of people were quite happy with the UQ 75. And I think for 289, definitely something I would recommend. Now, if you really want to know what I think the best 42 inch TV is, a lot of people ask me that. I definitely think the LG C2, very difficult to get an OLED monitor for less than 900 bucks that's going to perform better than this. Good size for a computer monitor. I actually have the 48 inch over here. So this is 899 for the 42 inch. And then they also have a 48 inch version that's 1049. So this was around 1500, 12. 100 to 1500 when we got it over here. Now it's down to 1049. So that's a really great TV. And they have all these sizes for the C2 that keep going up. I think it's a fantastic OLED and there's, you know, minimal upgrades for the version of this year. But even the 65 is $1,699. That's a good price. Normally they're around $1,500. 1600 bucks for this at Black Friday. So getting this in the middle of the summer, it is last year's model. I think it's a fantastic deal. If the price goes down any further, definitely pick it up. I highly recommend. And all these will be in the links in the description so you can check out the top deal specifically or you can check out each one of these down below. And an alternative to the C2 is this S95B from Samsung. This is the first generation QD OLED. Again, the price is right at 1699. They do have a newer version of it. This is probably one of, if not the best gaming model monitor out there besides that C2. So if you're a Samsung person, you know, you have this. If you're an LG person, you have that C2. Both of them are fantastic. And if you wanted to go, you know, Neo QLED because you're not a big fan of OLEDs here, they also have the Samsung QN90B last year's, you know, one of the best mini LED TVs. That's even $100 less than either one of those. I like this. They have a, a bunch of different sizes too. It looks like the 75 is getting limited. But this 85 for $25.99 is a great deal. I think you can probably even get that a little bit lower over this holiday here. We'll see. And then you have this 55 inch, which is $9.99. And that's fantastic as well. And if if you compare that to the C2, you're saving 300 bucks getting the QLED over the OLED right here. And we've made a bunch of QLED versus OLED videos, so definitely check them out. We can link right here. 
And then moving on. Now, if you're talking about an OLED for this year, I think one of the absolute bests is the LG G3. Now, it's not as on sale as some of the other TVs, but I've seen it a couple times and I absolutely love it. The 77 inch G3 right here is $42.99, only a couple hundred dollars off as of now, but keep looking at these prices as they go down. But this has the new MLA tech. It has the brightness booster max. It's very bright. It's an amazing looking TV and it's great for hanging it on the wall. We just did a video on this. It's someone's house looked amazing check that video out when you can and as you get on the list you can see that you can get an OLED for a lot less so that C2 I was talking about $16.99 the 65 inch of this G3 $29.99 so it's more expensive but definitely a pretty good TV and then you have the new C3 again that's $2,100 bucks, $400 more expensive than last year's model and I just don't think there's that much change that I wouldn't just get the C2 but C3 C2 both great TVs LG's been making OLEDs for 10 years so I think any of these are great options options. And if you want to go into the LED world again, I really wanted to see if the X95K would be lower from last year. I've had a hard time finding these on sale. Must be in high demand or low volume, but this 85 inch is still 4,200. So I think that's a little bit high for what I would recommend. It's not even on sale. But the next model down, the X90K, that one seems to be on sale a lot around Best Buy. So it's always a popular TV. I think it's pretty good. The 55 inch is 899. Now you can get that 55 inch Samsung for only 100 more. And honestly, it's a better TV than this. So if it's between that QN90B here, 55 inch 999, or this X90K at 899, I would definitely get that Samsung unless you're not a Samsung in person and you really just want the Sony, then this one's not quite as good, but it is $100 less. And I'm gonna show you some bigger sizes here, but you also see the 65 inch of the new X93L mini LED, that's $21.99, so it's more than twice as expensive as this, but uh, keep going down. We have last year's OLED from Sony, $17.98. That's even a better price. Uh, I would probably go with an OLED versus that mini LED, the new one. Uh, but if you wanted something that's a good deal, stick with that X90K. You can see we have a 75 inch for only $15.99. And then we have an 85 inch for only $19.99, which is probably the sweet spot right here. Because if you want a giant TV, this is one of the best deals you'll find for an 85 inch Sony, good TV, you know, good for cable, movies, everything pretty much. And I, I like this right here. I've always recommended the 85 inch X90 series as a good deal in the off season. And it still is here at 2000 bucks. And I do like some TCL and Hisense TVs in addition to the more of the main three that we had already talked about, including this 55 inch six series mini LED. $599. You're not going to find a Sony Samsung or LG mini LED for this low of price, uh, especially with the quality that they provide. So six series, it's got smart Google TV. It is a mini LED. It's got all the gaming specs and it's only 600 bucks. So I would recommend this and I wouldn't look back. Another one that you could just buy and you know stick in any room, but 600 bucks, a little bit more expensive than the cheapest cheap TVs, but this is much better. So it's a very good TV. And one of my favorites, of course, is this giant 98 inch. It's down to 5,000 bucks. This started out as $8,500. So it's significantly decreased in price. And I really recommend it. Now there are some other 100 inch TVs coming out, but right now, this one is the combination of best performance and best price. Again, it's huge. It has Dolby Vision, it has Google TV. I think it's pretty awesome. And I have that in my living room, as you probably know. Definitely recommend it for people looking for gigantic TVs. And on the Hisense side, there's a couple really good ones from last year. This U7H was one of my favorite TVs for the price, $549 for a 55 inch. And I think they have some other sizes available too, if you check it out. There you go, 75 inch, only $989. So thousand bucks for a 75 inch. That's $500 less than the Sony that I was showing you. And to be honest, this is right there with it as far as the quality. So I highly recommend this. And if you wanted to even go a step up, they have the Hisense 55 inch U8H and that one is $699 and they have a 75 for $1,500. This is a performing mini LED TV right here. All the gaming chops. I did a video on this last year. It's still the one in our game room. We have the 75 inch and the kids absolutely love it and it's as bright as the sun, so I highly recommend that. And if you're gonna buy a TV at Best Buy, you might as well become a Total Tech member. A lot of great features for you, including having two years of coverage on all these products. So I know for me, most of the times, I look at something that may have broken down and it's like 13 months after you had bought it, no longer under the manufacturer's warranty. Definitely nice to have two years on that. You do have a 60 day return window, which is great because 14 days is kind of hard to decide if something's right for you. 60 days gives you plenty of time to make sure that it's something that you're gonna you know, keep. And then you get free two day shipping on most 
most products and 24 seven geek squad support. So definitely check that out. And lastly, if you still confused, if you know, this didn't necessarily help you, you can go to my website and take the TV quiz. It'll take you through all the different questions. Like if you're in a bright or a dark room, like what kind of content you're going to watch, how far you sit away from the TV. And maybe, you know, if you have a brand preference, if not, you can just choose all and then also you know whether or not you want to budget high-end or mid-range TV and once you enter all that information it'll pop out a bunch of different options here that will be right for you in size and quality so definitely check out the be the installer TV quiz here's a couple of the unboxing videos we did and we'll see you on the next one